the bracket day hour, bracket day of shay, bracket day hour, bracket day of shay, bracket day hour, bracket day of shay. First and foremost, want to give all praises and honor and glory to the hour by Shem Yom Shay. By Shem, Raka Kodash, the blood of the apostles and elders, who will have been with the stone. And a blessed salutation to the Akhiyam, Sukkah, and the Archbishop, the Gospel, and the Sincerity of the Jews. Shalom. Right? It's a few of my dual lessons. This question was asked. You know, the brother asked, you know, you need to know that the Israelites, you know, Wanna wanna know how how to pray, and you know, so you can just go to the description and show because you know a lot of Israelites they don't know how to pray, right? Not like all these um these hypocrites in the in the in the in the um in the harlot houses, which is which they you know as church. You got the most I call these churches were harlot houses, right? Not like all they is free. Right, standing and in the sight of man, these women with the hair that cover, you know, you understand? And they're praying in like, like, like in, in the streets and, and, and certain places, men got a head cover, you know, a holy, a holy for, a holy for confusion. So, you know, so, you know, the brother, the brother asks, right? So let's go into um, some precepts that defy the church of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? Um, you get some precepts. Right? It's all about edifying the church of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? Um, so. First thing you gotta know, first thing you gotta know the name, like the name, the name is very important, right? The name is the key. The name is the key to the kingdom. The name, the name of the heavenly father is Yahweh, right? And the name, and the name of his son is Yahweh Shai, who the one of the God, Jesus, the word Yahweh means he is or he exists, right? And Yahweh Shai means he is saved and he is delivered up, alright? And we pray in the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right, Ba Hashem mean in, Ba in the, right? Ba is in, Ha is the, Sham name, right? So we pray the name of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? This is where Yahweh Shai said to pray. Um, let me get it, right? Uh, right? Uh, this, uh, to get to the Salakia, right? All right. <clears throat> so we gotta pray. We gotta pray in the name, the name of um, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. The prayers gotta go to, you gotta go through Yahweh Shai to go to the Father, right? You understand? <clears throat> right? Everything gotta go through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the mediator between the Father and the and the hopefully elect, right? All right. And there's a straight cut for these um these Old Testament Israelites who 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 who, 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 who don't believe that I have to go to um you understand? Who don't believe that I have to go to um um, yeah, how we shy. Think they could think they could go straight to the father. You understand? Um, right, um, John. Alright, this is John chapter 14. Right, verse 13. Right. Um, yeah. John chapter 14, um, verse. Um, we start from verse 12. He said, Verily, verily, me truly, I say unto you, <clears throat> He that believeth on me, the, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father, and whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. That's why we say in the name 
right? Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai, right? Yahweh in the name, Ba'ashem means in the name, right? Shal, which is of Yahweh Shai. So we got this, all we got to pray, right? We also got to pray and face the east, right? We got to pray and face the east. That's, that's, how, that's how we pray, right? Um, let me get, let me get to, um, this is um, Forest Kings, right? <clears throat> I'm going to start at Forest Kings chapter 8. I'm going to start at um, Let me start at 27. Right? Right? Be the temple for Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Right? And he was, he was praying to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, and he said, Right? Whenever, whenever, whenever your servants go up and they turn and face the east and pray towards this house, hear thou from heaven and forgive their sins, right? So we got to pray and face the east. You so can Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian, they got to pray and face the east. And you women of the nation of Israel, you so can Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian women, you have to cover your head when you're praying. Right, because your head, your head is your husband or your man. That is your head, right? And you men, when you pray, you have to keep your head on cover, right? You understand? Um, this is on the earth. Behold, the heavens and heavens of heavens cannot contain thee. How much less this house that I have built? Verse 28. Yet. Yet have thou respect, he said, yet have thou respect unto the prayers of thy servant, right, unto his supplication, O Lord, Yahweh, my power, to hearken unto the cry, unto, unto the prayers which thy, which thy servant pray before thee today, that thine eyes may be open towards this house night and day, even towards the place of which thou hast said, My name shall be there, that thou mayest hearken unto the prayers which thy servant shall make towards this place, and hearken unto, and hearken thou to the supplication of thy servant and of thy people Israel, when they shall pray towards this place, and hear thou in heaven the dwelling place. And when thou hear, hear us, forgive. So was it was 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 it was it dwelling place of the heavenly Father, Jerusalem, right? There's the house. Now this is why we turn and face the east, right? Let me get a quick precept, right? That's why we turn and face the east, right? Let um, me get Second Chronicles, right? Uh, this is um, Second Chronicles chapter six, verse six. Right? Second Chronicles chapter six, verse six. But I have chosen Jerusalem that my name might be there, and have chosen David to be over my people Israel. Right? This is why we, this is why we face the east. Right? This is why we face the east and pray. Because the Mosai in the Mosai put his name there. Right? Um Again, next precept, um, Psalms, Psalms chapter 5, right? This is Psalms chapter 5, verse, um, verse 7. He said, But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in the fear will I worship towards thy holy temple. Worship to thy holy Worship towards thy holy temple. That's why when we pray, we face, we, we go and we face the, still okay, we go and we face the east, and we pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh We gotta pray, we gotta pray in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The prayers go, prayers go to Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai take the prayers to Yahweh. He go, he go and play our case before his father, right? Everything on the most side is done decently and in order. That's what the scriptures say. Let everything be done decently and in order, right? Um, there's a 
of um yeah first corinthians chapter 14 verse 40 let all things be done decently and in order right that's why you women gotta cover your head right that's why you men gotta keep your head in cover when you're praying right let be this is decently and in order right um again next precept this is daniel right daniel chapter six right this is daniel chapter six i'm gonna start from uh the point is in verse 10 i'm gonna start from verse five then said these men we shall not find any um occasion against this daniel except we find it against his is concerning concerning the law of his power then these he said then these president and priests assembled together to the king and said unto and, and said thus unto the king darius live forever he said all the president of the kingdom the governor and the prince the counselor and the captain have consulted together to establish a royal salute and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask shall ask a petition of any god or or man for thirty days save of thee o king he shall he shall be cast into the dens of lion so they 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 they, they come with the decree this this wicked this wicked nation and come against daniel and say hey you know, if he if if he if he if if he finally pray to his God, you know, we can cast him in the in the dungeon with the lions. That's why these these enemies are these these other nation is our enemy. You understand? But niggas want niggas want to niggas want to join join with these other these these other these other nation. You understand? This nation is our enemies. These all these other heathen nation, right? Verse eight. Now, O King, establish the decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes and the Persian, which which alerted not right so they want they, they come up with a decree that the, you, you could only pray to the king and worship the king right verse 9 wherefore king darius signed the writing and the decree now when daniel knew that the the writing the writing was signed he went into his house and his and and his window being open in the chamber towards Jerusalem, he kneeled he kneeled on his knee three times a day and pray and give thanks before his power, Yahweh, as he did a four times. So he kneeled towards Jerusalem, which is the east, right? He faced the east and he prayed, right? Daniel ain't came for the degree that they put out against him, right? They still show him the lions then, right? And what? The most I deliver him, right? They still show him the most I deliver him, but he did the right thing. He continued to pray to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh He didn't stop praying. He didn't care for the degree where the king put out, right? Because this, these, these are the, these are the nations. They were, they envy Daniel and they want, they want, they want, they want to be put to death. That's why they said let it chew it. let it be chewing in the in the lion's den. If they find praying today, God, you understand? Hey, shalom akiyah bashin yam shay rakatam with this. Right? You understand? So this 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 how we pray, right? You don't pray like the hypocrites them in these churches, right? Yeah, how shall I tell you about that? Right? You understand? Right? Um, so we so we kneel and face Jerusalem, which is the east, right? Jerusalem is our is is our homeland. You saw God Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian, but right now the heathens inside it, the heathens possess our land, right? Um, let me get this. Uh, let me get this one in uh in Machu, right? Uh, this is um, this is Machu. This is Machu chapter five. Uh, Machu chapter five verse um, so okay, Machu chapter six. 
um, verse, verse, uh, you start from verse 5. And this, and this, this is, this is how we share writings here, right? It's Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrite are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogue and in the corner of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which see it in secret shall open shall reward thee openly. But when he pray, use not vain repetition as the heathen do, for they for they think that they should be here of their much speaking. You understand? Be not he therefore. So don't be like them the praying. The pray for our kind of thing, car, riches, you know, our kind of, our kind of being praise. You understand? So don't, don't be like them. You understand? Go, go, go into your closet, close your door, in your secret place. You understand? You pray to your father, you face the east, and you pray to your house, right? This is the way, this is the way that we will start to pray. You understand? That is the way that we supposed to pray to your house, Bashem Yahushai. Right, that, that standing in the street corner and in the sitting God which, which is the so called church today, standing praying, these women head and cover and all kind of madness. You understand? Um, let me, as I mentioned, let me get that. Right? Uh, this is First Corinthians, um, First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 11 said, Be he follower of me, even as I also am of a Mashiach. Now I pray, now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinance as I deliver them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is a mashiach, and the head of the woman is a man. So you women, your head is your man. That's why when you pray, you gotta cover your head, right? He said, um, and the head of a mashiach is your hour. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head cover, this under his head. So when you, as a man, you praying, you got to die your head on cover. But if you have your head cover, you dishonor your head. If you prophesying and you have your head cover, you dishonor your head. Which your head is Yahweh Shai. Right? The men, the men, the men of Israel, you saw so Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian. Your head is Yahweh Shai. Right? So when you praying, you got to keep your head on cover. Right? Right? He said, um, he said, but every woman that prayed or prophesied with her head un uncovered dishonor her head, for that is even as one as if she were sh sh shaven. So, when a woman praying, she's supposed to cover her head. When she prophesied, meaning she, if, she, if, she, if, she, if, she, if she had a dream, right? Most like you should have vision in a dream. And she gonna pass the dream onto her husband, right? What she supposed to do is she's supposed to cover her head when she when she, she prophesies, when she tells her husband the dream. You understand? Because most most I show vision to women too. You understand? But that don't mean a woman supposed to get the Bible and finish it. They, they, they didn't they didn't mean that. You understand? So you women got when you women pray, they gotta cover your head too, right? You gotta kneel and face the east, right? And cover your head. Right? He said, um, verse 6, for if the woman be not covered, let her also be sure of him. But if it be a shame for the woman to be sure of him, or shame, him, let her be covered. You understand? He said, for the man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of your hour, but the woman is a glory of the man. So when 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 you when you women pray, you gotta cover your head. The most I give you a vision, a dream, and you had a dream, and you and you gonna give it give the dream, give it. Ah, uh, somebody, some brother like no, the camp. Hey, you gotta cover your head, right? Every, everything done it decently and in order, right? You gotta cover your head, right? That's that's the scriptures, right? 
that are probably ahead. Right, let me go back to um, Kings. Right, and this is King Solomon. King Solomon pray for. Right, uh, back in Forest Kings. Right, yeah, back in Forest Kings chapter. Um, Was. Yeah, yeah. Back in First King chapter eight, verse thirty-one. If any man trespass against his neighbor, and an oath be laid upon him to cause him to swear, and the oath come before thine thine altar in this house, then hear thou in heaven and do, and judge thy servant, condemning the wicked to bring his. To bring his way upon his head and justify the righteous to give him according to his righteousness. When thy people Israel be smitten down before, before the enemy because they have sinned against thee and shall turn again to thee and confess thy name and pray and make supplication unto thee in this house, me we face, we face east and we pray, right? Right, it's the, um, then hear thou in heaven and forgive their sin of thy people Israel and bring them again into the land which thou givest unto their father. Right, so this is where we gotta pray and face the east and we make a supplication. Right, you understand? And the land of Jerusalem is our land. Right, but right now these these heathen occupy our land, but we still turn and face the east and pray, right? You understand? Um, right? It's, uh, verse 35, he said, when heaven is shut up and there is no rain because they have, they have sinned against thee, if they pray towards this place, which is Jerusalem, and confess thy name and turn from their sin, when thou afflicted them, then hear thou in heaven and forgive, give, forgive the sin of thy servant and of thy people Israel, that thou teach them the good way wherein they should walk and give rain upon thy land, which thou hast given to thy people for an inheritance. You understand? And that's how we pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? We pray in the name, the name of Yahweh. Which Yahweh me he is, he exists. Say Ba Hashem, Ba me in, right? Ha me the, um, shall me name, right? So in the name, shall of Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's how we pray, right? Yahweh Shai is our mediator between, between Yahweh and the elect, right? The hopefully elect, right? Because the most I not hearing two thirds of Israel prayers, right? The most I not hearing the prayers, right? Right? Um, why the most I not hearing the prayers? Because would have forsake the Heavenly Father, right? And this you people to understand, you forsake the Heavenly Father, so you're not going to hear your prayers, right? This is, um, this is, um, Proverbs chapter 25 to 28, uh, verse, uh, uh, yeah, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. He that turns away his ears from hearing the law, even his prayers shall be an abomination. So when you turn away your ears from hearing the most high law, even your prayers are going to be abomination. Right? You understand? Most I, the most I say a prayer is going to be abomination. That's why you got to hearken unto the voice of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? So the most I not going to hear two toward prayers, two toward the nation of Israel, because they're going to be destroyed. So the most I not going to hear the prayers. They kind of refuse, they refuse to do the things that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai say to do. Right? Which is, which is the, which is the fear him and hearken to his voice. You understand? You understand this be the most I say. This is um um let me get a 
e mi chiede uh, uh, this is the Uh, I think it's probably just a minute. All right. I think it's probably just, I think it's eight. Yeah, so the blue side not going to hear two towards it, uh, two toward, um, prayers, right? Um, let's go find it. Right. Let me check. Let me see if it's done. All right, just a minute. So, okay, uh, let's go find it. It's done. Eat. All right. Let's go far free the fine pick. Yeah, so. He that turn we years of hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Right? It doesn't matter if he turn to the east, right, and he pray, and he call the name Yahweh Bashem If he if he repents from his wicked way, if he continues still doing the same thing, you know, transgressing the most high law, you know, you understand? Keep being a digger. So now I can hear you, because what you you forsake it. You gotta forsake your wicked ways. You yeah, must still find this preset. I remember, I remember where it was. Right? Yeah, the Lord hear the prayer, prayers not, not of the um, sinners. Right? Oh yeah. Alright, uh this is John nine and um, thirty one. This is John chapter nine verse thirty one. He said, Now we know that Yahweh heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshipper of Yahweh and do it his will, him he hear it. Yes, yeah, so any man be a worshipper of Yahweh and do his will, Yahweh hear hear that man. But he's not gonna hear a sinner, which is you so can Negroes, Latin and Native American and two third of you. Most I never hear your prayers, right? Because you refuse to do the things that you say. Right? Read this again. This is John 9 and 21. Now we know that Yahweh heareth not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of Yahweh and do it his will, he may hear it. Yeah. Keep his commandments there. That's ability. That's why Yahweh Shai say in John 4. John 4 and John 4 and 20. Um, 20, start from 4, 23, start from 4, 22, he said he, John 4, 22, he worship, he know not what we, we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews, but the hour coming and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father's spirit and the truth, what is spirit, these scriptures, they will worship the Father's spirit and truth me in these scriptures. Right? Following with the scriptures say, right? The spirit is the scriptures. Right? And also Yahweh Shai. Right? Yahweh Shai is the word. Right? He said, He said, When the true worshiper shall worship the Father, Yahweh, in spirit and in truth, for Yahweh seeketh such to worship him. Yeah, he said, Yahweh is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Follow these words, be obedient to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right? That's why we back John John uh, 921. Now we know that now we know that Yahweh here is not sinners. We just read the law, say that he that turned away is ace of hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. The most I not gonna hear it. The most I gonna make your praise become sin. Right? You understand? The prayer is gonna be the prayer is gonna become sin. This we say in Psalms 109 verse 7. I'm sorry from verse for six. Send thou a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he when he shall be judged, let him be condemned, 
and let his prayers become sin. And there's one to you niggas who forsake the way you are by Hashem Yahushai. Right? John 9 and 31. He said, Now we know that Yahweh here is not sinners. These these Israelites who refuse to do Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, refuse to go in the orders that Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai set up. Right? He said, but, he said, But if any man be a worshiper of the Mosai and do it his will, he may hear it. So the Mosai can hear the elect. Right, the whole field, like, who repent from the wicked ways in sin and do it sincerity in sincerity, humble yourself, humble yourself under the ordinance that Yahweh Hashem Yahushua set up on the planet Earth, right, and follow the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua to the best ability and turn and face the east and pray and beg you, the most I, the most I can forgive the, the elect sin because Yahweh Shai died to, 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 to wash away the sins of the elect. Right, the elect and the nation of Israel, the whole free elect. Right? You understand? The 144,000, the one third million of children who are going to be delivered. Right? In these last days that we in. Right? And with that, the Obis Lesson is at the fire. They want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rapha Kodash, double honor to the apostles, and elders who rule well at Great Blessed Stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams and the folk and the earth to push in the glass well and sincerity to the Shalom. You know, Asha Sabbath, Yasharala, the Shalom.